Hello everyone and welcome to another video tutorial. Today we will be talking about how to build a Gantt chart in Microsoft Excel 2016. The first thing that we're going to want to do is calculate the duration for each task. and We're going to do that in column D, so go ahead and label that duration. And then simply take the difference between the two dates. And we want that for each task, so just drag that down. Next we're going to want to actually start building the chart and we're going to do that with the start date data. So highlight B1 to B9 click insert charts all charts bar and then stacked bar next we're going to want to include the duration data in the actual stacked bar chart so right click anywhere in the chart click select data add and then your series name will be duration your series values will be your duration values and since we're already here we can include the axis labels as well and those are just all of your tasks Next, we're going to want to click on our start date data in the actual bar chart, which is all of the blue, and then click no fill. Okay. After that, we're going to want to flip these tasks because we can see that project kickoff should be our first task and it's actually all the way at the bottom. So to do that, you're just going to want to right click on the tasks, click format axis, and then categories in reverse order. Okay. And then finally, we just want to clean up this date range a bit, right? Now, if you didn't know this already, Excel starts counting dates from 1-1-1900, and we can see that just by formatting this as either general or number. You can see that it's a one. And the way that we clean up this date is we pass in the minimum and maximum bounds that we want. So the first thing we should do is just take our earliest start date, and our latest end date and just format these as either general or number okay and we're gonna want to pass in these values into our minimum and maximum so our minimum is 42736 and our maximum is 42850 okay and that just cleans up the date range a bit so there you have it here's your Gantt chart thank you for watching Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and go ahead and comment what you'd like to see next. Thank you.